Up for reviews today, we have the 15 inch Ryan Steel figure earned from VR Troopers, better known in Japan as Chojinki Metalder. Now, originally, Metalder was going to be a sequel series to the popular Tokusatsu series Kikaider. And I've got to admit that Kikaider's face is pretty ugly, but he's still pretty cool. And surprisingly, it's more popular in Hawaii than what it is in Japan. And, but Metalder was one of the lower rated Tokusatsu series. Well, for one, it was over budgeted. I mean, if you look at the characters, their costume designs, things, the effects, things, and even the intro, you can even tell that's over budgeted. And it also had a dark and depressing storyline. And by and depressing, I mean emotionally sad. I don't mean like what people say today, as in if something is total crap. Now, originally, for the American version, and it was just going to be an American adaptation of Metalder and Metalder only. It was going to be called Cybertron, which makes sense to call him that, but the idea was scrapped due to copyright laws by Hasbro, since that's the name of the planet of the Transformers. And Jason David Frank, I think, was going to be Metalder, aka Cybertron. But due to his popularity on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, he. They put him um, back onto Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, brought him back as the White Ranger instead of Brad Hawkins. And then they sw basically switched around their roles. And instead of just having one character, they decided to make it uh, two shows put together. Chojinki Matelder and Spellbond. But then again, but eventually they ran out of Matelder footage, so then they decided to put in Space Share of Shider footage. Now, just to show off the size comparison to this thing, here's the original Megazord. Yeah, Metalder beats the original Megazord. Also, a figure comparison to it. I thought this would be appropriate since he was originally going to play as Metalder. Tom. Also, this figure kind of reminds me of an Ultraman, because just look at the size of it and its eyes. Its eyes look a lot like an Ultraman, and since from this side, it's red. Which reminds me, I also brought out Ultraman Tiga. And I'm pretty sure that everybody knows this, but everybody knows that Ultraman are far bigger than Metalder. But this time, it's the other way around. So watch! Yeah, I know, that's Ultraman Hayata, but still. Now, let's go on to the articulation. He only has four points of articulation. In the head, his arms, and his waist. Let's start with the head. The head can rotate around 360 degrees. And also, this figure is made out of a hard vinyl plastic sort of thing. So when the head turns, it makes this kind of noise. Just listen to it. Though, it doesn't do it as much as it used to. So, I'll just stop with that. Arms can rotate around 360 degrees. No surprise there, because basically every single figure around the face of the Earth basically has that. This arm, arm is a little rougher to move. And now the waist can rotate around 360 degrees. Now he looks like Harley Quinn, or Composite Metalder, if I can say that. There are some poses that you can put him into. Ooh, like, uh, let me show you. On the blue side, Now onto the red side. Now uh, onto detail. 
Well, I always thought this. I have a an episode of VR Troopers on VHS, and I always thought to myself that his costume design was unique, since it was two different colors. And I always thought to myself when I was younger why his costume design standed out the most out of both uh, Spellbond and Diana Lady. Well, that's just the Japanese na names of JB and uh, Caitlin. And now, uh, the blue side, it looks more uh, robotic since he, it, since he is an android. See all this robotic stuff in there? Or, you know, all the basic think, giant brick-like parts and technology and blinking lights. So this side looks more like the the exo looks more like the exoskeleton and or the well it basically just looks like a robot let's just put it at that now the red side basically just looks like what a nor normal engine hero would look like I think you know oh and like these little ridges right here Also, he has an M on his crotch, and on his on his head, which is basically an M for Metalder. Now, on the ratings, I give this figure a 4.75 out of 5, basically for the size. It's, it's mostly accurate, but that's one of the cons is that it's a little inaccurate, and and that it doesn't have have much articulation, but and it's basically meant to be a display piece. Thanks for watching, and I've got more Tokusatsu figures to review in the future. Shwak!